Hi, my name is Steve Cordero. I'm from Acrobat Enterprise Support. Welcome to IT Tips and Tricks. AIP stands for Administrative Installation Point. Simply put, it's creating an all-in-one installation package utilizing single or multiple updates so that there is one installation that occurs. That means the previous updates are included with the newest update, making the need for chaining the updates back-to-back unnecessary. In this demonstration, we will build an Adobe Acrobat 11.0.01 administrative installation point. Let's get started. The first step is to copy the media setup files to a location on your hard drive, and we need to create a folder. We're going to call that Acrobat 11. New spaces. We're also going to create a destination folder for our administrative installation point. We're going to call that A11. So here's the area where we're going to copy our setup files. And now it's done copying, and we're actually going to go into the folder where we have the MSI file, and we're going to grab the path, and then in Windows 8 we're going to open up the administrator command prompt. And you have to give permission on this if you are the administrator. Say yes, and then we're going to navigate to the location. Now, the next step is to run the MSI in administrative mode so we get the administrative installation. And the command for that is MSI exec. Dot exe space forward slash a and that's the administrative switch and then the path to the MSI and in this case we're going to put the full path macro pro dot MSI and there is the line. And now we're going to execute that. And here we have it. Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro Setup. We'll go next. And network location. Now you don't have to put it on a network location. And in fact, for this demonstration, we're not going to. We're going to keep it local. It's starting us off on the C drive, and we're going to change that to the folder that we made previously, A11. And then we're going to say OK. And now we've got the location where we're going to put our administrative install. And then say Install. and setup complete. Finish. Minimize that. The next step is to create a folder, which will be the destination of our updated administrative installation. So we're going to call this A11 Zero, zero, 001. Next, we're going to copy the contents of A11. Into A11001. Zero, zero,
And there it's done. Our next step is to copy the updater into our destination folder. And now that's done. And now we can build the administrative installation point for 11.0.01. Copy the path. Now we'll bring up the administrator command prompt again, and we will navigate to that location. And now the process is almost exactly the same, and we're going to run through that. So here we go. MSI exec exe space forward slash a space the path to the MSI file. And then forward slash p, which is the patch switch, and again the path to the patch file. I copy that name. in there. And there is the command line to start the patch process for the administrative installation. So let's begin. You'll notice that it says Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro 11.0.01 .0 setup. And now we'll proceed. Next, and the location is right where we started the installation, and that's actually our destination as well. So we'll click the install. Setup complete. Finish. And here we have our updated 11.0.01 .01 administrative installation point. Our next step is to install the product. Let's launch. And as you'll notice, 11.0.01 .01 set up. And we'll leave make Adobe Acrobat my default PDF viewer default. And we'll provide the serial number. Stay with a typical installation. Leave the destination folder at the default. Ready to install program. Install. User account control. Asking for permission to run Acropro MSI. We will say yes. Setup complete. And finish. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we're not going to reboot. And there we have the Adobe Form Central icon on the desktop, and Adobe Acrobat 11 Pro icon. Let's launch. 
as you can see, the version says 11.0.1. Accept the software license agreement. Skip the product registration for the purposes of this demo. Here we have Adobe Acrobat Pro launched. We have the version number. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.